Hi, I'm Bev from By the Yard Ribbons, and I'm here to give you a tip of the day sponsored by Scrapbook Expo. What I'm going to show you is something really easy that you can do with velvet ribbons. I'm using 7 8 inch wide velvet ribbons like the ones you see here on this tray. And we're going to really quick and easily turn them into little velvet gathered flowers like what you see here on this frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a 9 inch length of velvet ribbon and I'm going to take a needle with thread. Relax, it's easy, there's not a lot of sewing. But you're just going to take your needle with thread and I use a color that contrasts so that I can see it real easily as I'm working. I'm going to start right along the edge about a fourth of an inch in. And then I'm going to take little stitches like this, kind of gathering up the one edge. These stitches are about one eighth to a fourth of an inch wide. There's no particular way to do it, just lots of little gathers like this. Usually I push down like that and kind of pull my needle right back through. There we go. And from there I just continue on until the entire length is done. Once I have my entire length of ribbon stitched, it's going to look something like this. So I'm going to take it, I flip it upside down, I left one fourth inch open at each end of the ribbon so that I can fold the raw edges back. You notice this is upside down. And I'm going to take the thread from each end, tie a little knot to shape it into a, a, uh, like a donut shape here. Just tie a double knot. And then just snip off the extra thread. When I turn it over, I'm gonna have the gathered circle like this, and I'm gonna to wanna to use a button center here to put right in the center. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take glue dots, two of them. I'm gonna take one, kind of wad it up, and put it on this side of the shank of the button. Another one right over here. Press it down into place, and my flower is done. It's really that easy. Once you've done these, you can accent things like frames, like what I showed you earlier. We also show one of these little gathered velvet uh, flowers on a page layout right here. We've got some velvet ribbon going across on top of burlap ribbon and then one of the little velvet flowers here. Here we have two of them that we've turned into a nice accessory. When you have their, your flower done, you can simply use glue dots to attach a pin backing to them and use them on things like, uh, well, like this denim jacket here, any other kind of, um, uh, sweater or top that you would have. You can also take and use glue dots to adhere the backing of a hair clip to it and use them in your hair. You can use it on a headband as well. That's my easy tip of the day. Something quick and easy that you can do with 7 8 inch wide velvet ribbon. I hope you'll come and see us at a scrapbook expo soon. Mm -hmm.